We didn't see a death. 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 Right? She just fell. Jesus. Changing rooms. What's he aiming at? I don't think I'd take a picture of it, you know. God damn it. Oh God. What happened here? Someone's head got smashed against the wall. Um. Is this That sign's not rendered on the door. I'm just saying. Ah. Oh, oh shit. 
<laughs> fucking spider man me. It's fucking no webs though. Shit. Hi, Vala. Everyone's outside now. Charlie's outside. Mark's outside. And I forgot the other girl person's name. Another coin. A bronze one. Yeah, only three. Three out of five. We started with five. And there's three people left. Mark. Hey. Mark. on this late long stream we play we play the uh panthology uh, Pantho anthology every year and this is the final chapter and it got released today so we're playing it straight through we're playing it since six o'clock so near enough six hours from now locked we play these every year so you got manamadan a little hop And then House of Ashes. And then this one is the fourth one. The final chapter. Okay, I'm missing something here. I can hear bushes. It has to be this way, right? That's just locked. The only thing I'm seeing is this, but... I don't see anywhere I can climb. It has to be something back in here, right? Like he come from down there. Oh, maybe not. Found it. Thank God for that.
Did you just land with straight legs? I think we're going to come across Mark or the girl, right? Or uh, what's she called? Kit. Fuck. Hello? Yep, that was a dog. That was a dog. I think we just found that dog. What was it? Remember that dog's name? Yep, yeah, I saw the dog's paws go across the thing. Connie. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Please don't make me hurt the dog. Please don't make me hurt the dog. Why'd you say that, dude? Just gonna bite you in the fucking ass now. Okay, I did not want to do that. This dog's going to come back around, isn't it? Watch out. I thought the lift was going to follow him. Mark, what the hell? Charlie? You're alive. With broken ribs. Charlie, I, I thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought... How the hell did you make it out here? Yeah, good to see you too, mate. I nearly got fried, you know. I know. 
We saw it. You saw it? What the hell does that mean? How exactly did you get out of that? Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? Aaron is dead. What? Dumek killed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I got us into here? You tell me, Charlie. What have you gotten us into? We were all separated trying to get out. Dumet has the entire place rigged with traps. We follow right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Dumet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse, see if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <sighs> I never thought I'd say this again. Bloody lighter. He knows where he's going, doesn't he? Whew. Jesus. Alright, so we've got this here. This obviously needs to get pushed somewhere. We can shimmy across there and climb into the window. Right? I think. I think. Bloody hell. Watch the glass, man. No cards or anything, have I? Oh, I do. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Medical history. Patient's name, Monday. Hector. Family physician, Charles Brown, MD. I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office today. He was accompanied by his mother, who informed me that Hector is complaining of feeling sick and very tired. Upon examining Hector, he appears to be mildly un uh, undernourished. He is underweight and very pale skin. Mother also prescribed two milli uh, milligrams of diazepam uh, tablets to make sure three times a day when required. I saw Hector, seven year old male, in my office today as a follow up to the recent hospital admission for uh, acute bronchitis. Hector uh, has collapsed during school lessons. Hector is recovering well from the virus in the two weeks since hospital admission which was likely caused by mixing with other children at school whilst his immune system was weakened by the malnutrition. When examining Hector's chest, I discovered bruising on his underarms and shoulders caused by rough play at school. Hector advised to avoid such activity. Mother advised to refrain from smoking around Hector, especially while he, w he is recovering. I will arrange follow-up appointments in one week. That does not sound good. I saw Hector send you a mail in my office today at my request. Hector has almost fully recovered from bronchitis. Bruising has worsened because by significant force. Probably getting beat up. Yeah, abuse, yeah. More likely uh, an adult than school friends arranged to follow up in one week. 
Um, and then again, met up with Hector uh, in my office today at my request. He was accompanied by his grandfather, George. Hector's original bruising has subsided. Grandfather, uh, grandfather advised that I examine Hector's legs, ankles swollen with cuts as he has been restrained. Grandfather suspects that Hector's mother isn't co isn't coping. Arrange follow up with Hector's mother. It's definitely Hector then, right? This guy is definitely Hector. And that old woman in the wheelchair is his mother. Probably has a mannequin. You know? Just physical abuse. Uh oh. Here we go. Okay. So, in the previous ones. We got a glimpse into the next one. Because when I was playing a little hop, I got a, a glimpse of House of Ashes. So maybe season two, chapter one, is that? Daft Punk's breakup. <laughs> I think that's part of the next... I think that's the next game. Wait, is it... There can't be anything else in here, right? There's something else in here. Whoa. Okay, so we need to climb from outside then. No. Where does this go? Right here. Ripcar, thanks so much for the gifted soap. Thank you. What is that smell? Ugh. Oh my. Is this a morgue? It's a dog out here. Yeah, I did too. It scared the shit out of me. You scared him off by panicking, most likely. We're in a bloody morgue, man. How was your head? Two victims discovered with heads switched. Another well, gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the Georgia uh, homicide of the imagine, Im imaginary killer alongside two victims. FBI agent Monday reportedly counted multiple repurposed body parts on the crime scene that appear from past victims. Monday described the micro uh, animatronics uncovered as deranged creations. <laughs> That are uh, the insult to victims' humanity. DNA is yet to confirm that they are, in fact, the missing body parts of previous victims. Jesus, man. God damn it. Turn your fucking, turn your fucking light off, you dickhead! You fucking bell end. I'd be lighting up like a Christmas tree from out there. Oh, he knows.
Fuck. Is he fucking serious? What an idiot! What an idiot! I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest part we've seen. Chintail, have a good one, man. I can't do anything whilst I'm in when well, it's a cutscene. Yeah. I'm just wondering if it's big, if it's a bug or something. I don't know. He's got screens everywhere. Oh shit, yeah, there's the thing. Oh my god. Oh what? shit. What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. Why? Why? I don't fucking said that. Because they're valuable to him. Thanks for the answer. The trophies. Keep sex. Dimash sure seems to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Attending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. Yeah, I couldn't one turn it off in the cutscene. That's what I'm saying. Disturbed man. More coins, man. Sixty six. Oh, my God, with Harrison. Yeah, with mass people, it can be a group of them. That's why they're everywhere. Oh my fucking Jesus, chat.
Oh, uh, the heights. Go on. He did it. She's alive. Is she? Oh, I thought she was at the same place as the dog. Is that a bloody, like, blusher or something? It's a makeup pad, isn't it? For the light. And there's me thinking it was a Nintendo DS. I'm sticking with the DS matter. There's a key. And a hand. He looks fresh.
Oh god, what is this? Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Fucking Johnny's back. Easy way. No, it's gonna be we're gonna he's gonna release the dog. No. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. I'd rather kill doggos. No! What the fuck? He got the tomato soup? Is he trying not to kill us? Wait. Has he actually killed anybody? He grabbed the woman on top of the building to stop her from falling. We tackled him. Playing with his food? Could be someone else. It just makes no sense. Why did he hit the tomato soup there? <laughs> what did the tomato soup do to him? There was no way I was doing the dog, man. Whoa. Whoa. What was that trip wire? Do you think they're here? We need to find a way in. What if they didn't make it? One thing at a time. Let's get inside. Time to call in the troops and get Dumet shut the fuck down. It could still be Charlie. Doesn't it? Man. Oh, 
he is British as well, and you know what? You know what happens in all movies, right? British are always the bad guys. You know, if it's a British film, it's American bad guys. You know how we do it. You know? And Charlie's British. There may be another boat on the island. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. Cat. Give me a dog any day. Huh. What the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, just a stupid cat. Yeah, Micah, yeah, it could be that. There's always a twist. In these games, there's always a bloody twist. There's always a twist. In every single one, I've never correctly got the story correct. Got this, buddy. Fight, f f face. Don't look down. Face your fears. Don't look down. Don't look down. Tampering with this seal is a federal offense. Fuck the offense. I don't mean that fence. Look into the light. Don't look into it. You bloody idiot. Is that beeping with his mother with that woman in the wheelchair hey 
Up here! Gate! <gasps> hey! Shit! I am writing to inform you of an issue with plot R357 patrol. As the right of engineer in the duty inform you of a recent incident at burial plot, a patch of soil has been disturbed and the headstone was rem was moved from its base. I understand that this is the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Mundy. Therefore, I appreciate that the news may be distressing. Unfortunately, on rare occasions, local wildlife can cause such disturbances and we suspect that this is the case in this incident. As a matter of public safety, it is our duty to ensure the maintenance of our plots. It is a very high standard, and we will uh, have swiftly corrected this disturbance. Okay. That's because she's sat right fucking behind me in a wheelchair. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. <gasps> Jesus. You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? He's going to answer back. The lonely boy who loved reading scary stories. Wow. We read scary stories all day and all night. Oh, wow. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The book gave him an idea. Revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. He he. He jumped. He jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Ra. He loves scary stories. Ha ha. She fell downstairs. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> yep. Knew that was coming. Always right to your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. Fuck me. Oh, my God. Charlie, you're being very sus now, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Thank God. Have you seen Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Where is he? Mark. I lost you. <laughs> Why 
walk there. What about Jamie? He got her. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Here we go. I can see them, all of you. Oh, he killed them. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. The boat. Seriously, lady? Fucking idiot. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. What was that? Pepper spray? Come on. This way. This should work. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. There. Hey, hey, Connie. Hey, you, boy. Come on. Come on. Come with us. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Just work. Go. Where is he? We made it. Thank God it's over. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Fucking Jason, man. 
song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Oh. Oh, shit. Shit! Fuck, man! What a fucking idiot! And I looked up and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. Fuck. Need a smoke, buddy? <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit.
Good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. So, rest in peace. Mark, loyal to the final frame. There's some studio space going spare in Brooklyn, if anyone's interested. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie, the plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? If you bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. Nope. You're gonna fucking die. He's in the window, look at him. Death and death not can excel. I open the doors to hell. 
heaven and hell. Yes, I have come to get your soul and leave your body and be Jesus, Chuck. To drop the flesh from on your frame, the earth and worm both have their claim. I said, There's going to be another video clip. Hopefully, we'll see. So what did y'all think of the game, chat? Won't you spare me over to another year? Told you how fucking good I these said, games are. Oh, oh, death. Oh, oh, death. Won't you spare me over to another year? It was a lot of fun. Now, death, now let's death, see, because we did see that picture for him with the spacemen on it. So I'm going to guess that has something to do with the end, with the next one, which will be season two. And I want to know what's going on with the curator, uh, curator with all them, whatever was banging on the door and stuff. Hmm. So you can see this very hour now come with me. I said, Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spend? But I really like that. I've really enjoyed the last four years basically playing these. If you've never played the other ones, you need to play Man of Bidan, then a little hope, House of Ashes, and then this one. So the stories don't continue. The only thing that does is speaking to the curator. The guy at the end. That's the only thing that continues. So they're all individual games, but part of an anthology. It was good. It was good. And it took us, what? Just, just, over, just seven hours, would you say? It took us to do this. So we never knew what the coins are for. I guess we'll find out in a minute. I don't have a clue what them coins were for. Don't have a clue. Oh. Yeah, it was a fun time. Guys, hopefully you all enjoyed it, you know? It's a fun, fun time. And then if there is a, if there is another one next year, next October, November, we'll do another one, you know? Here we go. Let's see if there's another trailer at the end here. Oh, skip to end. Commander Stafford, the forward reconnaissance vessel Cassiopeia. After successfully rendezvousing with a curb disc marker, we have detached the booster ring and spreads a high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. I think. Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. Whoa. Holy shit.